Today I'm going to show you how to make an infinity ring. You'll need wire, ground nose pliers, and wire cutters. Start by wrapping the wire around a marker to shape the ring like I'm doing here. Use a marker that is slightly bigger than your actual finger. You'll see why I do this later. You'll want a circular shape with the two ends crossed in an X. Take the round nose pliers and pinch the ring at the X. Take one end and wrap it around the upper barrel. Now take the other end and wrap it around the lower barrel, going in the opposite direction. When you remove the pliers, your ring should look like this. Cut off the extra wire at the ends with your wire cutters. Now all you have to do is bend these ends so that they touch the ring. You can use your pliers for this, but I prefer to use my hands because I'm really, really strong. No, just kidding about that. I prefer to use my hands because the pliers can make little indentations in the wire and I don't like the way that looks. Now you'll want to pinch the ring together so that these two loops align to form something resembling an infinity symbol. This step makes the ring smaller, and it's the reason why you'll want to start out by forming a ring that is larger than your finger. And that's all there is to it, just some cutting and bending and you've got a new ring. If you enjoyed this tutorial, help me share it by repinning it on Pinterest. You can also follow me there as well as on Twitter. And if you like getting sneak peeks of new projects that I'm working on, you can now follow me on Instagram. I hope that wasn't social media overload, but anyway, thanks for watching.